Corgelina here. Thank you so much for clicking on this video, whether this is your first time, your second time, or you've watched all of my videos. I am so excited and thankful that you are here. I am a very passionate teacher, a very passionate math teacher that also loves luxury and obviously Legos. I'm a huge fan of Harry Potter. This video has nothing to do with that, but I am just recording in a very different place than usual. But I'm trying to get my two videos out of the way for this week, so this is why I'm recording here. I hope that you don't mind the change in scenery and that you enjoy all my awesome eye candy uh, from my Harry Potter Lego collection. Anyway, today's video is about what I've been up to and why I was absent last week. You are seeing this video on Thursday. If you watched my video from Tuesday, you see that I am in the same place with the same outfit. I did just finish recording that one. <laughs> but big update in my life. Not only did I just start the new school year teaching a grade I've never taught before, I am teaching seventh grade for the first time. I am very, very excited about that. And I did have to create a lot of new things for that. We are working as a team. Luckily, I have the best team in the world. Um, so there is a lot of work to be done, but there is also a lot of help. Uh, we are all working really nicely together and I am just so proud to work where I work. I love my school, I love my team. It's been fantastic, uh, but it has been busy. And because I am just a crazy person, um, I also just started a master's program. Um, I guess it, it didn't all happen at the same time. So I did apply for the master's a year ago. Usually that's how it goes. You apply a year in advance. I went through the interview process. I got accepted. I did all that. Uh, signed up for the classes. Uh, all that, right, that came a year ago and just a few months ago i um i was asked if i would mind switching from eighth grade which i've been teaching for a little bit to seven um we our school's going through a lot of changes at the moment so there's been a lot of shifting and um again that that all just kind of happened and i didn't want to rescind my uh my acceptance definitely didn't want to do any of that i am ready for this masters i'm really passionate about what the master's is in. Uh, so I am juggling both, right? And I started YouTube <laughs> and I don't wanna end it. This is a really good hobby for me. I am enjoying making the videos. So today I thought I'd share with you my new college bag and why I got it. I know, right? I'm not shopping, I really am not. I'm trying really hard to stay away from all the unboxings and everything, but I'll share with you why I felt like I needed something for this particular reason, and we'll get into that. Uh, could I have used something that I already have? Absolutely, but I will share with you why I went with the one that I went with. So before I share that with you though, I do wanna talk about the master's program because again, I'm really passionate about it. I am doing a master's in transformative teaching. There's a lot of emphasis on, equi on equitable teaching, on teaching for justice, on all of that and I really am so passionate about it. Part of my current job at uh, the middle school, I am one of the EL coordinators. I deal with students that have reclassified from uh, being considered in English language learners. Now they are English language proficient and I am very, very passionate about multilingual education. Um, so this master's just fits I love being part of those discussions. I love completing the readings. Um, so the master's program is definitely something that fulfills me. Um, so I, there is no room there to say, no, I'm not gonna do this, right? So if there is something that's going to take a hit and go in the back burner, it's going to be YouTube. So I do love being here. This is really good for me. I love recording videos. Feeling like I am building a community is also really important um, because I do spend a lot of time at home by myself because I teach online. So I do really like the aspect um, in the community that is being built on YouTube that surrounds things that I'm really interested in, 
But again, priorities, right? So definitely this master's, I am so incredibly passionate over this subject that I just really want to see where it takes me. So we'll, we'll juggle and I'll juggle how things come along. But if you see me absent uh, for little periods at a time, I will definitely be very open about why that is. All right, so now let's get into the bag. If you have seen any of my work-related videos before, you know that I have a very designated bag for work. I'm just leaning down because that's where it is. So I use this one for work. This is my Marc Jacobs the tote bag. This is the size small. I believe this is not called the size small anymore. I'm not sure what it's called now. It's gone through a couple of name changes. There is absolutely nothing small about it. It is incredibly heavy right now because uh, it has all of my work things. This is how I keep it. It stays like this for forever. Um, so I have a lot of things in here. And the purpose of this bag and why I have it um, and why it stays packed is because since I work from home, some of the sometimes we do have to go into the office or travel for work. And I want to make sure that I am prepared and that I have everything that I need, right? I, my life goes like this, right? I am taking my kids to school. I am picking them up. They're doing activities. My son's learning to drive. He's working. He needs to go here. He needs to go there. Uh, my husband, you know, sends me to go buy something Like I take care of all of that in my home life and then during the work day I'm here working um, so there's all these things that take place in the work day that I can't get to because yes I work from home but I am on that computer and I am working the eight hours I am on that computer and if I take a break it's to eat something or to go to the restroom or to grab a coffee right it's just very much your typical work day I just happen to work from home so when I need to leave out the door the last thing that I want to stress about is do I have my notebook in there do I have my chargers in there do I have right like I don't want to forget any of those things that are essential when you work through a computer um, so I have that packed and ready to go at all times uh, because I am a team player and anytime that somebody suggests hey let's get together at the office I'm gonna be up for it and I'm gonna be ready and it's not going to affect any other aspect of my life because I'm ready to go um, so when my first meeting for the masters came through last week, I took everything out of that bag and I moved into it for the uh, college program. So took all the stuff that I needed for college, put them in here and then took all my work stuff out. That was the same week that I started. I'm laughing because it was the same week that I started back to school and our back to school first week is in person. So we do the whole, like all the training. It's super awesome. Back to school is amazing. I get to see all my colleagues from all over California. Uh, so it is a, a great time, but I forgot <laughs> half of the things I needed because I moved back into it quickly. It was also my kids' uh, first week of school. It was my daughter's birthday week. Uh, her, I was planning for her party. It was just a disaster. Uh, luckily, right, everybody steps up to the plate. <laughs> everybody lets you borrow something when you need it. Uh, but that's just not who I am, right? I'm like, I'm, I'm like a Girl Scout. I have my stuff ready to go, right? I am the one you can go to when you miss something. I am not the one that missed stuff, but I was, and I hate it. So I need a designated bag for college. My work bag needs to stay packed at all times. I depend on that. So I am there. I, I need to have that structure. That's just how my brain works. And yeah, so I, I can't leave that. So I watched Rael's closet video a while back ago where she unboxed this bag. You saw it on the thumbnail, so it's not a surprise. But that's where it started. I watched it on hers. I was like, oh my God, that bag is so cute. She wears it so well. She has adorable style. So I just kept looking at it. And then Cammie from Cammie's Closet had to, of course, unbox it for her birthday. And she makes it look so adorable, so awesome. She talks about all the pros in it. And I was sold, um, especially when she's talking about how it was discounted. She didn't pay full price for it. Yeah, I just kept 
itching up my brain. And then I was watching uh, Missy, who is the queen of all things Marc Jacobs. And I saw a bunch of totes in the back and it's just, I'm just like, oh my God, I'm ready for, I'm ready for another one. I have the need. I know the tote bags work for me for this particular purpose. I don't use the tote bag as a handbag. Right, so I just, I don't, I don't use it as a handbag uh, because when I want to use a tote, I just go for my Neverfulls. I really, that is my favorite style of bag. And the tote bags have a zipper. And that, and if you watch my last video, I actually just got into that. I'm not a fan of zippered tote bags. The reason why I like tote bags so much is because you could just dump everything in. Uh, my Marc Jacobs, the tote bag that works so great for work, the baby blue one, has a zipper, but I never close it. It's always open. So I like that ease of in and out. So now let me bring the bag out that I got for college. It's already all packed because I already used it. So this is not an unboxing or anything like that. It's just showing it off. Um, but this doesn't have a zipper. It's the same size. It has all those features that I love about the tote bag, how big it is. Um, and I don't know, it just, it has this pop of color in the back. So my favorite pink, it's amazing. It also has it in the front if you pack it well enough. But I have all my college things in it. I have my textbook. I have my, um, this folder here, uh, Harry Potter, of course. Um, and it has all my readings in there. I have a notebook where I am taking notes. If it's my iPad, I have an iPad where I take my notes and things like that. It fits right in here. If I needed to take my laptop, it does fit kind of like diagonally, but I can also just, because it doesn't have the zipper, I could just stand my laptop up like this and it does not affect the drop here. Um, the strap drop, at least not for me, and the laptop still fits. And yeah, so if you look in here, God, I can't get that. Wait, I hope nothing falls out. But I have my pencil case in here. And then I also have my uh, mini pochette that I love dearly to death. I've used it so much. I keep my chargers in here for my iPad and my laptop. It's actually the same. So I just have one in here. Um, and it's just going to stay there. And now I have something for college. And when I have those college courses once a week, I know that everything that I need for that is in here and and I love it I like looking at it it sits in my office and now I have two I know their purpose and I'm ready to go so those are the reasons why I got it I yes I could have used something that I already have yes I could have gone for like an older backpack but this is a new adventure for me this is a new journey for me and I don't know, it just, it, it takes me back to shopping for back to school. I love that, right? The teacher in me loves that. The student in me loves that. And I just, anything that brings me positivity towards something that is really going to take up a lot of my time, uh, I like it. I like looking at it. This is also the reason why I have planners that are pretty, uh, because the more I enjoy looking at it, the more I'm going to use it. Uh, for its intended purpose, which is planning and staying organized. Uh, so yeah, this is the bag that I am in for college. It is going to stay like that for the entire two years of my master's program. I can promise you that. So anytime that I talk about college, you are going to see that bag with me. Uh, I know that it will outlive those two years because the quality of Mar Jacobs is amazing. So we'll see what the purpose becomes once I'm done with the master's program. Maybe I'll move on to a doctoral program. Who knows? Um, but that will be my designated student bag. And I'm super, super happy uh, to have it. So let's go to this ending. If you made it this far, thank you so incredibly much. I love all the comments that you leave me. I love interacting with you. The sense of community is huge for me. So if you don't mind giving this video a thumbs up, leaving me a comment and subscribing for more, I would absolutely love that. I will see you on the next one. I can't wait for more. Bye.